So a lot of people wanted to bust my balls about the uh, episode with the saber cut saw. And so I brought another one out today. The reason why I'm not a big fan of them is because the chain itself requires a lot of strength uh, because the, the teeth, once they start biting into the wood and everything, it becomes more and more difficult. We'll give it a try again today and see how it works out. I'm so excited. This is way different than the one that I had before. The, the chain that I had before looked more like a actual chainsaw blade. This is round on this edge here, so you can go smooth in one direction and then it'll cut in the next. So actually, this version here from the one that I had before might work a little bit better because the teeth might not bite as much so it won't take as much friction or as much strength. You see how much I've cut into that already, and it took a lot less effort than what it took with the other one. No, but actually flipping it upside down really does help it out. Once the chain starts binding up, you get that really narrow groove down in there. You flip it upside down, and you start running it backwards, and it takes and uh, clears it up so you got a, a fresh start on it. I think they've definitely improved on this this design a little bit. It actually feels really good uh, coming back and revisiting a product. Just give this uh, commando saw a go around. The reason why I like these commando saws is because you don't have to worry about getting cut, uh, handling them and everything, but it also has uh, multiple uses. The more applications that you can use uh, a product for, the more value it has to me in my book. You can use this as a potential bow saw, you can use it by hand, and in a pinch you can actually use this as a snare as well. Now this binds up fairly bad, but if you look, I mean it's cutting through it fairly fast too. I mean, that's a fairly clean cut all the way through there. Now, granted, this is a pretty dry wood. If you're cutting through a more dense hardwood, or if you're having to deal with green wood and stuff like that, the amount of time it's gonna take to cut through something's gonna vary, but both of these saws work really well for me. I personally like these little commando saws because they pack up really, really small. They don't take up a whole lot of space and you can get multiple applications out of them. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a campfire ax, you're gonna have a knife on you, something like that that you could probably use to chop wood. So, you know, these things, the saber cut saw actually worked really well for me. And uh, I'm really digging this, this type of uh, tooth or teeth on the chain itself. So it made it a whole lot easier where you didn't have to rely so much on arm strength at binding up and everything. Uh, really happy with it. So what I want to know from you guys is which would you rather cut wood with, the saber cut saw or the commando saw? Leave me a comment or a video response below and I'll be giving both of these away this month. So I'm going to get to gathering up some wood, eat some lunch, and take off on my hike. So I'll see y'all later.